Welcome to this tutorial request in which we will be creating a double jump. So let's just jump into it. Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So here we have what we will be creating today. We have this character which is able to do double jumps now and she has two separate animations for it so she has one animation for the first jump and another animation for a second jump so when she walks around the jumps this is the first animation she has and she resumes locomotion when she lands and the second jump is just a spinning animation that i just threw together to make it look a little bit different and it looks like this so she resumes locomotion immediately when she lands just like with the, the first animation so that is how we're going to be creating this today. So here we are inside of Unreal Engine version 4.26 and we're going to be continuing on from our advanced combo system and using that as a platform to build on this. So essentially what we want to do is we want to go to our character and we want to open it up and we want to click on our character top over here so we get the blueprint and then we type in jump then we change the jump max count from 1 to 2 and compile and save and there we go and we're done with the tutorial thank you for coming to watch this today it was very fun i'm just kidding but essentially that's all you need to do uh, there's nothing more to it essentially to make a character have multiple jumps just in setting the the number variable there for your uh, number of jumps because now when we go around here you can see you can jump once jump twice doesn't have a very high jump, but it ha does have two jumps now. Uh, and that's essentially it. You don't need to make any special logic around it or fuss about with variables or anything like that. It's built into the, the character uh, itself. However, we can take this a little bit further. We can make use of this how it's normally uh, used, which is you usually want to have a different animation playing when you're doing the second jump. And for that, we can build in some logic. So let's start off with finding our jump for this character. Here's our input jump. What we can do is we can create an event dispatcher. We can call it on jump. And we can drag it out here and we can say call. And we can disconnect this and make sure that we do the call on jump first. And then we do the normal jump. Now essentially we have created an event. So anyone that's listening and interested in us uh, actually jumping with this character character can then hook on logic onto that so for our purposes our animation blueprint for this character would be interested in doing something like that so we will find the begin play for this character and i don't think it has a doesn't seem like it does so what we'll do here we'll just make a try pawn so we'll get the owner, owner pawn and we need to cast this to a character actually we need to cast this to the specific character that we have here which is in my uh, example here a shinbi shin shinbi player character because that's where we uh, added the event dispatcher right now that we have that, and this is a, the event begin play, so this is only going to be happening once, so it doesn't cause a lot of performance. Uh, from here, we want to say that we want to hook on to the on jump. So we'll just type in on jump, and then we'll do an assign. Or you could, if you want to, drag out here and do an on jump, and do a bind event. Essentially the same thing, and then you hook up to an event that you have. Uh, we can call this uh, jump uh, executed or something like that. So when we create this character, the, uh, the animation blueprint starts. Uh, it will create an on jump event for uh, whenever we press that button or that event in the character. So now we need to decide what we want to do here. Uh, what something we could do is add a a new variable call it something like last jump since we're just going to be having two jumps this works for us but if you wanted to have a more advanced jumping system then you would do this slightly differently and we can essentially say that we want to set this 
And how do we figure this out? So every time we jump, we want to check, are we on our last jump, essentially? And how we can do that is by, actually, let's let, make this a little bit cleaner. We'll do a, uh, where is it? Promote variable, there we go. And we'll hook this up like so, and so, and drag that in there instead, like so. And we'll call this a character reference. There we go. Our character reference now, we can make use of later on here when we're calling uh, this event that jump has been executed. And what we can do is we type in jump and we get a lot of information here. So we have a few things here. We have maximum jump count. That is the one that we increased. That one is of interest for us. So we're gonna take that one. In addition to that, we also want another variable and we could get our uh, current count when we can get our current pre-jump count. So this will be the number before the jump is actually called and this is uh, more reliable, I would claim in this instance. So by taking these, adding to this one one, the reason why we're adding one is because it's the jump before the jump. So we're adding one because of the jump that we're currently making. Then we just make a, sorry, <clears throat> a comparison and the result from this we say is our last jump. And to make sure that that is actually happening on our second jump, we can type out a string that says hello in this case. We can test it out. We load in here now. So when we jump the first time, nothing should be happening except the jump. When we have the second jump in the air, we should get a hello message. So we jump once, we get a hello. Sorry, my bad. Uh, we didn't have an actual branch for this. Just for this purpose of this debugging, we want to set this. This this should be running regardless, but, but for debugging, we just want this to type when, um, when we have actually done the second jump to make sure that it's working properly. So we jump once. Okay, it's still saying hello. Let's see here. We didn't hook this one up. My bad, I am so sorry. Being a little bit sloppy right now. So again, we tried it, this again. So jumping once, nothing happens. Jumping in the air, we get a hello message. So we can see that it's actually being called properly. That means we can get rid of this and we can get rid of this. So now we have that functionality there. We can now expand our jumping a little bit. So for this specific character, it has a few different anim graphs. Uh, the one you're working on might not be this complicated, but essentially you need to find wherever your um, your state machine is handling your jumps. In my case, this is going to be here where it's going from jogging and idling to jumping and then to landing. And from the jumping here, we will add a state machine and we'll call it second jump. And then we'll add a transition over here to jump land as well afterwards. Because this one over here happens when we're no longer in the air and this is the same condition we want to have here. So if we go here and add a condition, my apologies, the engine was acting up a little bit. I did, I got some graphical glitch here hiding my con transitions. Anyway, now we see the transitions. So we want to have the same one here, is in air as not because this is when we're landing. So when we're landing, we want to go to the landing animation. So we type in like this and we have the same transition as the first, uh, as the first jump. So if we jump once, we can transition into jump landing here if we land. Otherwise we can go from jump to second jump and then land if the conditions are proper. And we decide this by going into the transition here and finding out if we're on the last jump in this case, which we made. Like so, and now all we want to do is add an animation. For this case, I have created a very silly uh, animation. I called it um, second. It's essentially the character spinning around very, very fast. I'm not sure if this will look good or not, but it serves its purpose, I believe. Let's try it out. Okay, so we have our character. We're running around, we're jumping. 
double jumping and she spins and she'll spin until she lands essentially so that's how silly how silly how easy it is to add a double jump animation and have it in a fairly uh, good uh, encapsulation of code without having lots of crazy variables and, and things like that so this is a okay system for adding uh, a double jump essentially i would say hopefully you found this video helpful if you liked the video leave a like if you did not like it leave a dislike leave any suggestions or comments you have down below subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future that is all for now keep on learning take care